Hey everybody, how was your Monday? I'm just going on a walk because I've been in front of my computer working on a whole new system today for my group coaching programs coming up. And I've been on the back end trying to program these pages. So when you're self-employed, you have to do everything on, on your own. Don't have an IT department. And I'm going on this gorgeous walk. Um, would love to share this with you and take a little pause. <sighs> Here I am in Westport, Massachusetts in this beautiful place. Check it out. This is my sunset walk. And um, this is like a hundred acres. It goes from, it goes for miles actually to the south, to the left is south. And the head of me, I'm walking west. And um, nobody lives on this property, which is so cool. I know I showed you guys alive a little while ago. Um, but yeah, when you're self-employed, you have to do everything yourself. So I took a little break earlier this afternoon, but I wanted to go for a walk before uh, the sun went down. And you kind of have to catch it. Uh, you know, because now the sun goes down so quickly every day. Shorter days. Um, so I was thinking, um, you know, if you're self-employed and you're running your own business, whether, you know, or you're a busy professional, whatever you might be, um, it's so easy to get wrapped up in the things that you have to do and so easy to lose sight of even just simple things like breathing. And it's just really important to walk away from our digital space. Even though I have my digital camera here, my phone, but I wanted to share with you guys my walk. Um, so, yeah, so, you know, I work with a lot of people who are on adrenal overload, who are maxed out, who are frenzied, who are just got too much going on and on their plate and don't know how to wind it back. And when you have so much going on and you're on overload constantly, um, there's really no breaks um, unless you are intentional about it. And this is what I'm doing, you guys. Like, I want to teach people to turn their health around before it's too late. This is what I'm here to do. And there's going to be a point of a fork in the road for some of you in terms of your health where the doctor may say, you got to do something about your weight or you got to do something about your blood pressure. You got to do something different and perhaps they'll give you some medication to kind of alleviate the symptoms on the surface. And you know, it could be anything. It could be Crohn's disease. It could be, you know, it could be osteopenia where you're losing bone density and they want to shoot you up with some kind of steroids and anti-inflammatories. That just kills me because I know it makes people more sick. 
It's not stuff that our body um, is naturally aligned to. What we're aligned to is this, this beautiful sunset and nature and oxygen. Look at this, so beautiful. And I'm, I just, this is what I just walked down from. Just, there's nothing but fields and fields. And um, there's nobody around here. I hear the coyotes in the middle of the night. They usually start howling at like four o'clock in the middle, four o'clock in the morning. And boy, are they having a party out there in the woods. Um, there's daily feastings for sure. Um, but isn't this just gorgeous? It's like so grounding. And sometimes I like to come down here just for a quick little walk and um, take my shoes off and walk around in the grass. Um, get centered. And it's so peaceful. So... Um, so anyway, just wanted to show you guys this also, I am, uh, <clears throat> so one of the reasons why I was behind the computer was cause I'm trying to configure my new landing pages for, for my, let me know if you're here checking in with me, type in a hello. So I know you're here and watching this beautiful sunset with me. Um, so, isn't this just amazing? There is nobody around. <laughs> There's not a movement in sight. This is what it's like here. Isn't this just incredible? This is the fields. And the, and the hundred acres goes way beyond those trees even. So incredible. That's my 360 view. So, um, anyway, I am a little delayed in my October fall coaching program launch, but I know some of you know about it. What I decided to do is I'm going to do an eight week group coaching format starting on October 19th. And, um, it's eight weeks starting October 19th and brings you right up until the beginning of December. So if you're interested in starting to change your habits around food and need some accountability over the next few weeks and need some support around that, this is the program for you. I have been doing this successfully for a number of years and, um, you know, for those of you who just feel like you have too much on your plate all the time, we're going to kind of reframe and reprioritize and find a new reason, a higher purpose for why you want to um, turn your health around. And I really hope you find the reason to do that. And maybe some of you are feeling already healthy and confident, but if you have any bio health markers like high blood pressure, cholesterol, oh, look at that. There's a bird just flying, grazing over the water towards the osprey nest. It's so cool, man. It's like this water is glass. It's so incredibly beautiful. I truly am in heaven. I'm so grateful. But I want to I want to share my peace with you. Um as a health coach, I have to as a coach who is really committed to helping people change their lives for the better. Um I have to do a lot of recovery and Oh, centering practices more than, more than most people. And 
that's what I've been doing, I guess, in the last week or so. So I've been a little quiet. But I'm super excited to get with you guys and really empower you to make different kind of choices on a day-to-day -day basis. Really empower you, give you the tools to make it easy. It's not a huge struggle if you see things a little differently. But some of you aren't going to make a change until you make a change. So you can't just magically wish away pounds of body fat or pounds of inflammation on your body. You can't just wish that away. I'm sorry. And the medical institutions and protocols are not going to make things um, go away. It's about healing your body. And it's about healing your body first with your mindset around some of the beliefs you have about what dieting is like and all that. Look, those two birds are like fishing. They're diving for some fish in that river. So freaking cool. Can you believe this? Is, is this like a painting? Like the water is perfectly still. And believe me, I'll be coming out here in the winter when there's snow on the ground. I'll be coming out here maybe with some snowshoes. So it's so beautiful. Um, if you're stuck in an office all day or in front of your computer, I encourage you to step away and take a look at, you know, look at light, natural light in the middle of the day. Take your shoes off and put your feet on the ground. You're, it's amazing how much like frizz is in the air that you don't even realize until you wake, walk away from it for a few minutes or for a little while. You know, that's how you feel good, like in terms of getting out in nature and hiking and doing all these lovely things that you do on the weekends. But what Im imagine if you felt the desire to do that on a daily basis. If you're, starting, you're finding symptoms of your health markers and issues that are starting to get serious, and you're in your 50s or 40s, or maybe even younger, I hate to tell you this, but what's it going to take to turn things around? And this is the time. You have to get your immune system strong. And getting calm and centered and reflecting about what life and the meaning of life is is an important part of your daily, daily tasks. It should be. And if it's not, you're in the frizz. This ain't frizz here. This is clarity and vision. It's just incredible. There's not a freaking movement in the water. I mean, I'm sure there's fish under there somewhere. So it looks like it's about low tide. See the brown markers? Water's down low. So I'm sure there's lots of clams and oysters right below where I'm standing, along the edge of that water line um, near the grass. But it's my favorite place to take a quick little walk. Anyway, um, I hope you had a great day. And before the sun goes down, I hope you get a chance to greet it and feel gratitude and peace and grounding. Super, uh, I super needed that. <laughs> and um, uh, think about um, exploring my program coming up on October 19th. My um, registration page is coming, I promise you. 
It's just I've been programming it. It's on a whole new platform. But I know those people who are ready for this and who want this um, will want to join. And if you are my friend, reach out to me for um, some special ways to get you on board. Um, and if you have any questions or if you want to talk one-on-one -on -one with me for 30 minutes to talk about um, how you can have a high impact session on your health, let's do it. I have some room in my calendar I'm going to make for you. And um, maybe possibly I might inspire you to look at things a little bit differently. Maybe. Look at that bird just grazing along the water. I don't think I can zoom up on this. I don't know how to do that. So, look at this. Isn't this just remarkable? I wonder what the ocean's doing. This is the river. But the main ocean is further south. It's like down, down past that inlet over there. So the Westport River empties out into the ocean. And um, it could get stormy sometimes um, down there. And uh, that's kind of a temporary house that's there. I mean, that they, they call it the men's club where some friends um, of the property owner hangs out, go fishing, and they have their boat down there. I went on a beautiful boat ride this past weekend. And the sun will just get engulfed like immediately. It'll go down so quickly. But can you imagine if this is giving you peace? Um, I hope you find it in your backyard somehow and find peace and quiet. Turn off the frizz, the noise, the media. Like, start listening. So, I'll be back in touch. And I miss y'all. Um, if you're listening to this on a replay later on after you get home from work, let me know you came and said hello and watched so I know that, um, that you're listening say amen <laughs> or or say osprey <laughs> what's our code word oh yeah look at those birds just like flying flying through i guess those are either comorants or loons i'm not really sure oh look they just all kind of go in a single line isn't that amazing how nature is designed that way? They do such amazing things. God does amazing things. And amazing things are just waiting for you to happen. So I can't wait to see you soon again. Anyway, keep a lookout for my upcoming uh, group work. And we're going to dig deep and change the way you look at things and maybe you'll see something different this time have a great night guys and happy sunset to you look how peaceful it is can't even hear the cars <sighs> amazing Thank you. All right. So full of gratitude and peace. Happy Monday. Start Tuesday with gratitude and love. I will see you soon.